Uh, my name is Alex Tui. Um, the stage name is Alex the number Tui because uh, no one can spell my last name right, so I kind of simplified it when I started. Uh, mm -hmm. You were. Yeah, Martin Thompson. And uh, yeah, just a good friend of Alex and <laughs> like music. <Yeah. laughs> Martin, you mentioned that you guys went to college together, is that right? Yeah. Can you tell me just a, a little bit about how you kind of came back around to each other? That's a pretty cool story. Um, all, right, all right, so Alex and I, we like shared the same friends but never really were together with those friends at the same time, like ever, <laughs> until like after college. And I don't know, just, I, I started playing in this band, uh, well, my current band, uh, Feel Good Drift, and Alex started doing a couple of shows opening up for us, and we kind of just kind of connected, started talking music, and you know, started playing together. Now we live together. Yeah, now we live together. together. <laughs> yeah. We're married. So. Now we yeah. <laughs> spend so much time together. Yeah. Finish each other's sentences. Yeah, right. <laughs> and Alex, tell me a little bit about uh, the kind of music you like to make. Just uh, yeah, sure. Whether um, you're playing solo or not. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like I said before. It's kind of like a folk. I guess folk pop singer songwriter type stuff. And most of the time, I'm playing. You know, all the time I'm playing acoustically, but it's usually either solo or, you know, with a duo or trio and things like that. But usually nothing, you know, full drum kit or anything. It's usually pretty stripped down. Um, although we are playing our first full band show at uh, Pearl Street on the yeah. 26th with Badfish, so that'll be kind of cool because I've never had a drum in back of me, so that'll be interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's mostly just kind of storytelling and, and kind of keeping it really basic on that on that front. Yeah. Do you, do you uh, kind of... Uh, explain to folks who are curious uh, particular kinds of things you like to write about it, lyrically or is it really uh, depend? Yeah, it kind of depends. Um, I mean, when I first started writing, I think um, it was more so just about myself and, and kind of what I was going through. And it wasn't really songs, it was kind of just writing as an outlet um, when I first started and then kind of progressively was able to kind of put myself in, you know, other people's situations or, you know, things friends were going through, family and or just, you know, kind of imaginary situations as well and kind of um, really branch that out. So I'd say most of them are personal, but um, there are some of them who are about people close to me or, you know, situations that kind of I thought would be uh, cool to write about or was somehow inspired to write about. Cool. cool. Yeah. Sure. And what do you, uh, what's on your, what's in your uh, six CD car changer right now? What kind of stuff do you like to listen to? What, what inspires sure. you? Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, I, I mean, I, a lot of, you know, singer-songwriter type stuff. Um, uh, Ed Sheeran I listen to quite a bit. I listen to uh, David Ryan Harris, John Mayer stuff like that. Um, kind of mix it up with, you know, old school hip hop as well. I know Trap Call Quest was mentioned and, and some stuff like that. So I'm kind of all over the place. It really depends on the mood. But I say more often than not I resort kind of to the stuff that I um that I try to, you know, emulate and play. So I'd say it's kind of on that folk singer songwriter type stuff. Griffin House is actually one I've been listening to a lot of as well. So um, more on the folkier side lately but you both live in Springfield, right? We do, yes. Yeah. Recording in Northampton tonight, obviously, Pearl Street show coming up. Do you get up and down the valley very much? Uh, where do you like to play, and how far does that take you? Uh, fair so amount. Um, we got to um, kind of, this fall has been actually really cool. Um, we got to play a few shows opening up for actually Fort Griffin House um, in Virginia and Seattle. Um, I did that December 1st was that one, and then um, Martin and I got to go and play with uh, the voices Sarah Simmons at Red Room in Boston. and. We've been playing in Burlington and New York City a little bit as well, so we've kind of been able to uh, travel a little bit and um, and kind of get some pretty cool uh, you know shows and just try to you know anywhere that will have us, big or small. It's it's kind of what we're looking. But awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys thank for you. having us. Appreciate it a lot. Alex and Martin. Thank you. Well,